What's up everyone? I'm Hudson. I'm 13 years old and I'm a spray paint artist and today we are doing our first unboxing video. I just ordered an entire spray paint restock of Montana 94 and we're going to go ahead and unbox all of it in today's video. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. So don't worry about the fact that I'm sitting on the floor. All right. I just, these boxes are very heavy. It's like almost like, it's like, it's not just almost surprising. It's like, did I just hit the tripod? Apologies if I just hit the tripod. I think I did. Um, but it's like, it's really, uh, spray paint is really heavy. It's like astonishing. Okay, so here's the most um, entertaining part of this is the um, paper right here. Um, throw that. Get it out of here. So I see something. There's some things here. Ooh, some fun Montana stickers. Check those out. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, these are cool. Did not order these, so these are fun. Uh, give you these for free. And then what everyone's been looking forward to is the spray paint. So this box is just one of two boxes. So I have another box here that's even bigger that we're gonna open up in a second. But for now, let's just go over what I have here. So uh, I have a uh, matte black. Looks really nice. It's a nice feel on the can. Just feels really nice to hold. 94 logo looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so got matte black. We have our Triumph Copper right there. We have another matte black. So I think I got four matte blacks. So there'll be more coming. And um, I think there's like a few different like slogans that they put on here or like uh, thingy, like sentences that they put on here. So this one, as you can see, is uh, smooth valve control. And this one is the most versatile spray paint. And they're both matte black, but they have those different little uh, sayings in it. It's pretty cool. So. Put those over there. So now we have um, two cases. So I'm going to flip this one. I'm going to flip this one. The cases are cool too. You also have that 94 logo here. And you can use them to store your spray paint even after you open it. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now we're going to go over some of the things that came in the case. We have another sticker here. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. So we have our last two matte blacks. And here's another. This one has the same uh, smooth valve control logo or slogan. But this one has the cool one because color is life. It's pretty cool. Um, and uh, if you didn't know, they have the... Uh, the color um, and the uh, the color in words and also the color, actually the color on the top of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we have our four matte whites here. So there's one, two, three. So this is the fourth one that I found. Shake well and spray is another um, slogan that I have noticed exists so i just had to check the camera real quick so yeah there's the second one here's our third white and here is our fourth that white so now that you oh my gosh how many stickers did they send me uh, i've got so many okay that's all right so uh these cases can be just folded in like this and you can use them to hold the spray paint if you don't have somewhere to put it which is pretty cool uh, I'm gonna put the case. Actually, I'll put the paint in the case so I can move it to my area where I do most of my 
uh, where I store all my spray paint supplies. So I'm just putting them in the case like this, and you can do this too, and just store them, and it's really cool. All right, next case. Ooh, now we're talking. Here we go with some colors. All right, so we have the uh, magenta right here. Uh, this is our magenta, and this is our acai red, which are both super nice tones of pink, pink red-ish colors. That's fun. There's some nice colors. We have um, our Venus violet, a nice dark purple there. Uh, we have our ultraviolet here, a nice medium to light or tone of purple right there and we have this is our twister blue a nice dark navy blue color and then here we have our emerald green which is a nice in between um, leaning towards the green side on uh, in between green and blue really nice color there i like i'm gonna use this one and then we have a hardcore sticker in here even though this is 94 that is so fun i love the stickers i highly recommend the, uh using spray planet that's where i got this stuff um so yeah all right we'll put all of our paint in the or all of our cans in this case here okay move it off to the side all right so now, this is the entire box here, so we can just uh, yeet that. That hit something, that's okay. And here's our bigger box, so as you can see. Ugh, dude, these, this thing weighs like 50, 60 pounds, it's crazy. So, it says Spray Planet here by Montana Colors, really cool. Uh, so that's where I got it from. You guys don't get to see my address. Just kidding. What if I just cut the video? And there we go, we opened it. As you can see from that really nice angle there, um, I'm a really good slicer here. And I guess this is the box we should have opened first because it's got like all the manuals and stuff in here. That's all right, okay, so. Lot of stuff here, so got a nice uh, uh, card. Thank you card with a promo code there for us with a nice uh, picture on the back. So that's fun. We got two of those. We have our um, receipt here. Just like that. And yeah, I guess now we can go ahead and open all of these one, two, three, four, five cases. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. Um, I'm going to take all of them out first, and then we can go ahead and open them. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, we can just go ahead and start with our first box here. And we have some browns in here, our first tones of brown. So here is our coffee brown, a bit of a darker brown color, pretty nice. Then we have our... Um, our bean brown here, which is a bit of a lighter tone. So those are two nice browns that I can use. Here's a, no one saw that. <laughs> here is a uh, lighter, more pastel purple here. Uh, community violet, right there. Here's a red, our first red. This is vivid red, kind of nice bright red tone. Um, sulfur yellow, nice kind of medium bright yellow, and then our mint green, which is a nice uh, color. It's got that um, almost like I don't want to say bluish tint, but like it has it's it's got that nice like not just straight green, so it's it looks nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put all these into our case here. Uh, put you two, put you two, and um, 
I guess, YouTube? I don't know. I'm just putting them in. I'll organize them later and I'll make a video on that. Or a quick little clip video. I don't know. All right, our next case here. Whoa, we got some popping colors. All right, simple as that. Orange. We have orange right here. So... That's pretty pretty simple color, but it is a nice popping orange, so that's cool to have. We've got our light yellow, which is actually a bit darker than the uh, um, sulfur yellow in yellow tone, but uh, brighter in just like actual brightness. So, and here we have an oregano green, so kind of like a muted yellowish green color. It's like not the prettiest color, but I think it, it is good for like, not if I'm like trying to go over something that's like pretty, but like more like a, like a good uh, combination of colors. So there we go with that. This is our Laos green. So a lighter green tone, looks really nice. And we have our two blues here. We've got Argo blue and Freedom blue. These are both really nice shades and tones of blue. So actually, let me do this first. Uh, oh wait, we've got a sticker in here. 94 by Montana Colors, holographic sticker. That is fire. Yes, sir. Put our cans in. Um, so if you guys want to get some 94 for yourself, I would highly recommend it. It is a very nice paint, um, as I've seen online. and. Um, I'm very excited to use it. All right, so here's another green. So we've got a guacamole green here, which is a nice green. As you can see, it's a bit different from the Laos green, but this still looks nice. Um, and I think the Laos green looks like it would fit guacamole more than, than the guacamole green, because I feel like this is more the color of guacamole. I don't know, that's probably just me. Uh, here we go, so we have a darker brownish orange tone here. So we got Mars orange. We've got our darker red. We've got clandestine red, which is a nice dark red color there. Two more blues here. Um, we've got our dark blue, which is a just a little bit lighter than the twister blue. And we have our electric blue, which is a nice middle dark tone. So that's nice. And then we have our orchid or <laughs> orchid orchid pink uh which is a nice uh it's a good uh medium to light pink tone so i can use this as like a almost purpley pink and then a lighter solid pink so all of these colors are uh, look very very nice um i think that they all have like the potential to go perfectly with each other I think they all look really good on their own as well. Okay, moving on. We got some more muted colors here, but this also is a fun palette to work with and can be uh, uh, combined with other colors. So here we have a classic. We have our frame gold. This is going to be beautiful to do spray paint art with. Uh, really fun to use gold um, in spray paint art. So... Uh, yeah, that'll be exciting. Um, we have two grays here. We have a darker gray and a lighter gray here. We have wolf gray, is the darker gray, and London gray is going to be our lighter gray. So you can see the contrast there, but they still both are nice grays. Uh, I can use them for like muted rocky planets, whatever. Here we have some two darker tones of green. We have era green and Toscana green. Toscana being a little bit lighter and Era being a little bit darker. Both really nice shades though. And then we have an almost pinky dark red. We've got our blood red. This is a super nice color. Excited to use this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in the this here. Just like this. Put all of that in the case there. It over there. Last case, guys. Oh my gosh, we have so much spray paint here. So let's go ahead and open this up. And this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah, the completed collection here. So we have copper, 
third place, silver, second place, and gold, the gold medal winner, if you will, uh, first place. So we have our full, I guess that looks a bit better, full scale of the metallic colors, which look super cool. So here is our jewel silver that we just, <laughs> that was a funny sound, that we just got there. We have got our final green here. I like green, so I got a lot of green. We have valley green, which is such a nice middle tone, bright, uh, not pastel, which is nice to use. So here is our um, lighter pink. Is this the lighter pink? I think it is. Um, yeah, so here is our orchid pink, and here is our Tokyo pink. So the Tokyo pink is the lighter one, and yeah, these look like they'll go well with each other. Nice pink tones there. And, oh, we have another gray. I didn't know. Okay. I forgot about that. So, okay. So here we have our gray scale. So we've got uh, our darkest gray is, um, our darkest gray is our wolf gray. Our medium tone is our London gray. And our lightest one is going to be our pearl gray. These are going to be nice to uh, go about painting with. Two more colors. We've got a nice tangerine color. It looks really nice. It's going to be fun. And we have our canarius, canari, canarius yellow. If you guys know how to pronounce that, uh, let me know. Because I'm kind of dumb and I don't know how to can pronounce it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice middle tone of yellow as well. That looks fun to work with. Then we have a crap ton of stickers. Nice hollow Montana there. We've got our another wrong sticker. Have, ooh, a nice tag sticker for Montana. We've got our Spray Planet classic tag sticker. And finally, another 94, but in reverse. Actually, no, my bad, they're both the same. But both look very cool. Okay, I'm gonna put our hands in here. So now we have all of our spray paint. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. All of our spray paint unboxed here. And it all looks really freaking cool. So, yeah, and then a uh, crap ton of stickers. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Um, look at all this paint. This is 6, 12, 24, 36, 42, and then 3. So, that's... 45 cans. That's unbelievable. There's so many colors here, so much variety, and this is going to be super fun to work with. But the question is, what do we paint with it? Comment down uh, any colors or any ideas that you have, and I'll try my best to put it into a spray paint art piece. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash like and subscribe. Drop the colors down in the comments, like I said, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.